Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross and today we're dealing with a 1982 Lancia 037 Stradale. Now it's got 725 horsepower, 525 pounds feet of torque, 3.6 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine and the car itself weighs 2,531 pounds. It can do 0 to 16.5.082 seconds, not to 109.102 seconds and do 168 mile an hour. So uh, yeah, chose this car purely because We've had another 80s uh, rally car that's rear wheel drive and front engined. That's well, this is mid engine, but that car was rear engine, rear wheel drive and front engine. But they're both from the 80s. They're both rally cars, and they both only had rear wheel drive. And uh, yeah, that Opel Manta 400 did really rather well. It's the second place car so far in this series. So I'm hoping that this uh, Lancia will uh, have a do as well, or even better. Because if it does, then it will most likely also beat the Aero Nomad because the Aero Nomad and the Opel aren't all that far apart in terms of time there's you know only just over point one of a second in it so uh yeah hopeful with this car so let's see what it can do not weighing all that much as well is also going to be an advantage Don't use all of that power that it can not sure if this car and the open manta are uh, as good together as ha in terms of handling, but this does have more power than the Opel had. Oh dear. Oh, that's going to be an issue now, isn't it? That's the first time that's happened in this series. Have to be a bit more careful with the car on the dirt, by the looks of it. Which is not something we've had to worry about before. Expecting this car to be uh, better in terms of the handling, but for whatever reason, it's struggling. I mean, that's by no means the worst lap we've had, even for a car that's span out, but. By no means a quick one either. Judging from past experience, cars that have been difficult to drive have usually been the faster ones was the case with, you know, in Forza Hotspot 6, some of the dodgy ones were the ones that were quicker. It's an improvement, obviously, but it's still not what I'd call quick. It certainly picks up on a straight, but again another slight improvement. But we're struggling to get under one minute, which for a car like this is deeply disappointing. I mean, I know it's dealing with you know four times plus the power that I had originally because it had about 200 horsepower, but you know. Rally version of this road car was, had even more power than that, so 
And I know obviously it's not got any extra handling upgrades or anything like that, but I would have expected just like the Opal Manta for it to have some sense of control. like sliding out far too often and then that just makes me nervous about you know pushing it and then we end up uh, going too slow. Seems to want to break loose very easily on the rear end. Well, we eventually got it under a minute, but I have to admit that it's a very disappointing time of 59 seconds, 0.259. Now that puts it below practically every car that's that I, uh, we've do taken on this series. It's ahead of the likes of obviously the Jeep Willis MB, the Mayors Manx, etc. But I guess that's no surprise because those cars really didn't handle all that well. But it's, you know more than two seconds off the lights of the Subaru SVX, the Audi S1, the Ford Escort RS and way way behind the lights of the Opel Manta 400 and the Aero Nomad I really was expect, hoping it would be as quick as the Opel Manta because they are from the same era they are broadly like the similar cars, they uh, have rear wheel drive, they both have, both originally had four cylinder engines and they both were in the world of rally but it seems that for whatever reason this Lancia is just somewhat more difficult to drive I know this has more power than that Opel I've had, and maybe being mid-engine puts it out of balance slightly with all this extra power and no extra handling. But yeah, either way, it's still disappointing, and I was hoping it would be better. But there are other Lancies to try out, I'm fairly certain the uh, Delta S4 would be a, a solid car to try out on this, because that has all-wheel drive and is mid-engine, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, obviously definitely give more Lancies a, a chance, but just uh, disappointed that this uh, didn't do as well but it wasn't awful still eventually got it under a minute which I guess is the uh, kind of a benchmark for a semi basic car but I would have preferred it to be in, at least in the top three anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye